Hi everyone, my name's Sean and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick installation guide on the Newton Gravity Stainless Steel Water Filter System. These systems are available on newton-filter.co.uk and also on finerfilters.co.uk. Okay, so you're going to start off by taking the box out of the outer packaging. Uh, you can see there's some information on the box as well as the logo and the brand slogan. You can use the toggle at the top of the box to open it up and on the top you'll find a foam pad which is to provide protection to the system. Next you'll find the lid and then some more foam padding which is wrapped around the system to protect it in transit. Okay so now we're going to remove the system from the box as well as some more foam for protection and then finally the stand which is supplied with the system. Okay, so now we can start to actually look assembling the system. The first thing you wanna do is remove the top half of the chamber from the bottom half by pulling on the plastic wrap. You can set that top chamber for one side for now. Inside the bottom chamber you'll find a cardboard box. This contains the accessories for the system such as the lid and bungs which you're going to use to plug up the extra holes if you only have a two filter system. The system instructions, this also provides some more information on the system itself and how to install it. And finally in the accessories box we have the sight glass level tap. This is a stainless steel tap that comes standard with all Newton systems. It contains a little red ball in the sight glass, which allows you to see the water level in the bottom chamber. This is handy so you don't have to lift the top chamber off every time you want to check the level in the bottom. Okay, so now we've got the system unpacked, it's time to take a look at the filters. So in this system, I have two of the fluoride candles. They are also available in the ultra versions and the fluoride scale. More information about the specification of these filters can be found on either website as mentioned before. So in the filter box, you're gonna get a seven inch ceramic candle with the six litre, eight and a half and 12 litre versions. These filters are individually wrapped in a bubble wrap bag for their protection and they also come with fitting and maintenance instructions. Please be sure to read these before inserting them into the system. Please also ensure when handling the candles you're either holding it by the plastic cap at the top or with the plastic bubble wrap bag provided. This is so the oils from your hands and any other potential dirt that may be on there doesn't contaminate the ceramic itself. Okay, so now we have the filter cartridges out of the packaging. What we're now going to do is soak the filters for 20 to 30 minutes before installing them into the system. By doing this, you're allowing the filters to be fully saturated and prevent something called channeling, which is where water tries to find the easiest path through the filter and may miss parts of the filter, reducing the lifespan of the cartridge itself. When soaking the filters, try to have them in an upright position like this. This is to prevent any water traveling down the spout of the filter, which can potentially damage or move the carbon inside. Pre-soaking the filters like this whilst you're assembling the rest of the system is a great way to save time. Pre-soaking the filters will also allow the system to reach its optimal flow rate sooner rather than later. Okay, so now we're gonna look at attaching the handle to the lid of the system. The handle can be found in the accessories bag, along with the plugs or bungs, which we're gonna install later. The handle features a small screw and to install the handle, remove the screw. You then want to take the lid and from the underside of the lid, push the screw so the threads are poking through the top of the lid. Hold the screw with a finger and simply screw the handle onto the top of the lid. 
this handle only needs to be screwed on hand tight as tightening it too much could potentially damage the stainless steel lid. Okay, so next we're gonna look at attaching the plugs or bungs as we call them into the other two holes that aren't being used on this particular installation. The 8.5 and 12 litre systems can come with either two or four candles, whereas the six litre version only has an option for two candles. Plugs are supplied with each system, so you have the option whether you want to have two or four candles installed at any one time. To install the plugs, take one of them from the bag and with the domed smooth side facing downwards or upwards depending on which way you look at it, you want to push the plugs through the gap and ensure that they're aligned with the grooves of the bung itself. The plugs are pretty simple to install and with a push and almost twist motion we find this is the easiest way to get them seated correctly. Okay, so next we're going to look at installing the sight glass level tap. This tap is inserted in the hole at the bottom of the bottom chamber. Start off by removing the nut located on the back of the tap and you will come to a metal washer and a rubber washer. There should also be a metal washer and another rubber washer at the other side. You want to ensure that both the metal washer and rubber washer are pushed up against the tap and then enter the tap from the front of the unit. You then want to insert the rubber washer first. The metal washer second. And finally, the nut. The easiest way to secure that the tap is leak free is to hand tighten the nut once it's as tight as it will go you can actually use the tap itself as a lever simply hold the nut either with your fingers or a wrench and twist the tap from the outside of the unit ensure not to over tighten the tap however as the rubber seals are usually pretty good and with one to two turns it should be tight enough to prevent leaks. Okay so now we've got everything else installed on the unit let's check the candles. As mentioned before, when handling the candles, please ensure that you're holding it either by the plastic or the bubble wrap that is provided. Once you're happy that the filters have been saturated enough, again, whilst handling either holding the plastic or using the bubble wrap bag provided, unscrew the wing nuts from the top of the filters themselves. and insert through one of the empty holes in the top chamber of the gravity system. You can then reattach the wing nut by screwing it onto the thread. And once again, this should just be done so it's hand tight to prevent any breakages or cracks of the plastic or system the rubber washer on the other end of the candle will provide the seal to make it watertight. Then take your second candle and repeat the process. As mentioned earlier on in the video, these systems are available with two or four candles in the configurations, so just repeat the steps for the extra candles if needed.
once all the filter elements have been installed, it should look something like this. You're then ready for your first fill of the system. So either in a sink or by using jugs, feel free to fill the top chamber to the top level. This will then start the filtration process by using gravity to pull the water through the ceramic candles. A good time to do this installation is usually the night before or just before you go into bed. This allows time for the water to pass through the system as the first fill itself will be quite slow. This is because the filters, as mentioned before, need to be fully saturated before reaching optimal flow rates. You can expect around one litre per hour per candle. So with four candles, you can expect sort of four litres per hour and two candles, two litres per hour. This is obviously dependent on the quality of the water and other factors. Once the system has performed its first flush or first run through of water, we would advise pouring this water away, refilling the unit, and then the second lot of water will be good to drink. After emptying the first lot of water, feel free to go ahead and refill the top chamber. Once the unit is filled, place it back on its stand and allow a few hours for the bottom chamber to be filled. Once you can see the red ball indicator on the sight glass tap has raised to a sufficient level, the sight glass tap has two modes, pull the lever up for continuous flow or push down for single lever use. This second batch of water will now be good to drink and we hope you enjoy your filtered water from your Newton gravity powered water filter system.